Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about the market basket analysis which is helpful in identifying the association rules. I want to start this video with a little bit of uh, background about what it is and uh, how generally the question arise related to market basket analysis. So while you are working in any of the company who is selling let's say some products or maybe grocery chain or or any other company who is in the process of uh, or in the business of selling the products and while working as a reporting analyst or as an analyst to the business you may have faced the questions like what products customers are really interested in or questions like we are selling our main product very well and there are a couple of other products with, with which uh, which are going uh, along with the main product and management is really interested to know that how we can figure it out about the product which is the maximum times going uh, along with the main product or sometimes questions are so obvious that uh, we already know that product A and B are going together, together or product A, B, C are going together but are there any other product who are having really interested association? How do we know about it? So all of these questions get answered by market basket analysis, which is helpful in identifying those hidden rules, which are uh, sometimes not seen or not very visible. But when you mine the data, you actually get to know about those associations. This analysis, uh, if I remember, Based on my study, the first time it got uh, the highlight is basically based on a study which was done on the Walmart where they were trying to identify what products are getting sold together and they found a very interesting observations about uh, the beer and diaper are getting sold together. Well, though the analyst could not figure it out why it is really happening, but the rule was very apparent and they created several hypotheses in that case or assumptions maybe that uh, maybe it's like uh, the dad who is coming in the morning and along with buying the uh, diapers for their children they are also buying the beers maybe because it is saturday or sunday and they want to enjoy both the things and they don't really want baby to be you know bothering them and they they can enjoy the beer but the idea is that they figured out the rule and uh, they, they, they made a, uh, you know, this analysis very popular by explicitly st st stating that this is the rule or this is the way you can identify uh, the, the hidden rules from your data set. So let's go ahead and see a couple of its uh, properties about what it is. So as I said, it is a technique or algorithm to identify the association rules from your data, the rules which are not very visible and mainly it work around these three parameters which are support confidence and lift so what basically support is so if you have got, you know gone through the uh, higher secondary mathematics this is nothing but the you know set uh, the union or set analysis which they uh, which they do it in the higher secondary so it's basically saying uh, the a union b what it means is that a and b are going together or in in uh, uh, company sense product a and b are getting sold together the confidence is basically saying probability of a union v divided by probability of a which means prob the product b is getting sold only when the product a is getting sold so that's kind of a confidence that you get and lift is a little bit more complex but a very handy way to identify the interesting rules by uh, by dividing the confidence from a probability of p so the probability that a product b is getting sold so finally what you get is probability of a union b divided by probability of a and probability of e let's see about them a little bit in more detail so let's go here and here is some exam an example that i have given so for example, uh, a customer who buys a milk also buys a bread. Well, that's an assumption uh, or that's a rule that we have got. 
maybe so in that case what happens is what support says so if support value if you get 5 or 0 0.05 that means the 5% transaction shows that milk and bread is bought together well if I go to the previous slide wasn't it the same thing a union B that means product a and B are getting sold together so how you interpret is uh, the outcome of a union B in this case that if 0 0.05 or 5% is the value that you get it for support for any of the rule that means 5% transactions from the overall transaction shows that milk and bread is bought together all right the next is the confidence so confidence if it is 0.7 or 70% that means 70% of customers who bought milk also bought bread well here the condition has come that when they are buying the milk in 70% of cases they are buying the bread also so that's why you know we get a confidence based on that and then finally the lift uh, and lift is basically I will show you another example and explain you and the general rule of thumb in case of lift is that if the value of the lift is greater than one then it is a good rule in predicting if it is less than one then it is not a very good rule in predicting though many analysts even I sometimes uh, look at the rules which is showing 0 0.8 or 0 0.9 because based on the general rule of thumb it it may not be a good rule but it may have it is because it is very close to one it may have some observation in which we are really interested in so it's up to you you uh, want to evaluate those rules given the time and uh, you know the flexibility you have uh, in terms of looking at more in depth about the rules that you are report that the analysis is reporting so lift with the help of this example uh, i'm trying to explain that uh, let's say uh, from the analysis or from the transaction data set we got to know probability of product a is 4.4 and probability of b product b is 0.7 and the probability of a union b that means a and b are going together is 0.3 so that's an individual proper probability in this case probability of a and probability of b and here it is a combined probability of pre probability a union b that a and b is getting sold together all right so how you calculate the lift uh, or how it happened in the back end is that probability of a union b so if i go back to previous slide that's how the uh, formula is probability of a union b divided by probability of a multiply probability of b and that is what we are doing here with the help of this example that lift is equals to prob 0.3 which is probability a union b divided by probability of a and probability of b so 0.4 multiplied by 0.7 and the value you get is 1.071 so what it indicates that uh, based on the transaction and the formula you get the value 1.07 and as per the rule any rule which is greater than one is a good rule in predicting so in that case you will further want to evaluate this rules and see how effective or how good the rule is and it may happen that sometimes even if you get the lift as 1.071 it may be the case that a rule is very very obvious uh, some for, for example something like uh, if somebody is buying a notebook then they are also buying a pen to write on it so that's a very obvious thing and you are really not you know bothered or interested in those kind of rules because they are obvious to us so that's why uh, whenever the outcome comes in case of market basket analysis rules have been divided into three categories the first category is about uh, the actionable rules so act rules on which you can take action of which are not very obvious but they are interesting and actionable and second one is trivial rules rules which may which is which are like a little bit confusing or trivial in nature but they are that they may be interesting to further evaluate and do uh, a little bit research on and then you may figure it out that yeah this is a good rule or good good hidden rule that you know you can really go and uh, work on it and the third type of rule is inexplicable i'm sorry my tongue doesn't allow that uh, what i meant is inexplicable rule 
So what it means is rules which are incomprehensible, very, very complex in nature, and you are really not finding them, you know, good or easy or even after uh, spending a couple of hours, not very good rule to decode and not incomprehensible or not, uh, you know, the one which you really decode, can decode or make any sense. Well, these are inexplicable rules and uh, sometimes we just discard them and move ahead with the actionable and trivial rules to, to go in depth and uh, report our findings.